Whatever was to happen to us, they always told us, was preordained. There was no force on earth that could rewrite what fortune had already written. The lines of fate were indelible and we were, each one of us, victims of our own destiny. But some forces can make a difference. Some people can change our lives. Some concerns can touch our hearts. And some lines can be redrawn. Of every hundred Indian children born, one dies before birth and infant deaths are caused by problems due to lack of basic health facilities. Every year, nearly three million children under five years die in India. And when it comes to the girl child, her fate is even worse. One out of every three girls does not live to see her 15th birthday. Every sixth girl child's death is due to gender discrimination. While one out of two children between the ages of 6 and 14 has no access to primary education, 53% of girls in the age group of 5 to 9 years are illiterate. Most of us are perhaps aware of the problem of child labor and the fact that this in India is an extremely depressing reality that needs to be battled. Child labor, the hazards of exploitation, commercialization of children, the sexual use, abuse, the misuse of illiteracy. Another frightening statistic in India tells us that there are 13 million homeless children. With statistics like these, it's easy to understand why a newborn baby cries. But wait! In a country where children are born into a life of extreme poverty, marginalization, malnutrition and abuse, and discrimination and lack of education become problems that never seem to get solved. There can also be heard the welcome sound of a collective dream. A key to positive social change. An empowerment that gives the child of tomorrow greater control over his life as an adult. Ekta. It's a philosophy that believes that education and knowledge lead towards awareness and believes too that in the opportunity to be educated lies the greatest potential for children to be integrated into the mainstream of society. Ekta. It's a group of people whose hearts beat for one common concern, whose passion drives one common purpose and whose relentless efforts aim at one common objective, one common goal, that children don't have to beg for opportunities, that children don't have to lose hope. Ekta, a call from the depths of our hearts that says, all that's needed for us to be better human beings is a thought, is just a little concern, is just a pair of open eyes to see the suffering, to see how we can make life better for some, to let our teardrops awaken a part of us that may have gone to sleep. Because the task is not easy, neither is it small, and while the end is an objective that's not very near, the beginning has been good. The beginning has borne quick fruit. The beginning has been fulfilling and promises to be even more so with your benevolence, with
with your generous support. <laughs>